They're the wiliest birds in East Tennessee with tremendous senses of sight and sound. Or they can see me blink at 60 feet and fly over 50 miles an hour. Camouflage helps some, but it still takes a lot of skill, patience, and luck to see one of these Native American birds. Benjamin Franklin was so enamored with this bashful bird, he wanted to make it the national symbol. It would have been an elusive one. The wild turkey is so attuned to his wooded home that he seems to sense when even a twig is out of place. This is a blind, and it amounts to nothing more than some camouflage webbing with some limbs and things in front. When you check in for a bird, what is the first call you like to use? Well, when I go into an area where I anticipate or expect a bird to be, I usually uh, use an owl call or owl hoot just to locate a gobbler. Why, why does a gobbler answer to that? They'll usually respond to any kind of a loud noise. The male turkey, or gobbler, issues this call frequently this time of year. It's also his mating call. When searching for one of these birds, you not only have to think turkey, you have to talk turkey. You're imitating a hen. Yes. Well, that won't let do to it. He thinks he, there's a hen in the area that uh, is calling in an effort to locate him. Hopefully, when she does that, he will respond with a gobble. The two continue to call each other until they meet. If a gobbler has attracted several females, he won't leave them no matter how many alluring calls are made. His purpose is to entice the hens to mate. To do this, he makes himself as attractive as possible. He ruffles his tail feathers and struts. Most people don't think wild turkeys can move any faster than a strut, but the truth is they've developed survival techniques that put many animals to shame. These birds can not only hear and see 10 times better than we do, they can run as fast as a deer, and when really threatened, these clumsy looking birds can fly faster than 50 miles per hour. But despite the wild turkey's instincts and abilities, this bird almost disappeared from our landscape after the turn of the century. They lost their homes to the logging industry and were robbed of an important source of food due to the chestnut blight. But the turkey is making a comeback. The Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency has undertaken a program to monitor and regulate turkey populations across the state. Where once only a handful existed, these shrewd, cunning birds can now be seen in most East Tennessee counties, if you have the patience and skill to look for them. <laughs>